I've heard this expression that your net work determines your net worth. Have you all heard that? I've heard it a lot. Now, what it's basically saying is that your lot in life, your success, your financial standing can be determined up or down by the people you hang around. If there's some truth to that, if that is indeed true, then what that begs to for us to consider is we should give more thought to the people we hang around. <laughs> that makes sense. If your net worth is determined by your net work, then we should give that some, ser some serious thought. Because think about it. When you think about it, if your network consists of gangbangers and <laughs> and bad doers, then there's a good likelihood that that's going to become you. But by the same token, if your network consists of business owners, entrepreneurs, people that are giving and loving and caring and work and concerned about the community, then there's a good likelihood that that's going to be you as well. Whether you know it or not, your first introduction to your net work is actually your family and friends. Think about it. Mom, dad, stepmom, grandpa, grandma, they are actually your first network. Now let's take this a little deeper here. So if our network determines our net worth, what if we born into a network that's not really Put a gentle way to say this that not really working us working in our favor well i think maya angelou said it better when you when you when you know better you do better we can't determine who we're going to be born with what family we go we don't choose our family and in some cases we're not even choosing our friends because we're cast into these organizations like schools and churches sometimes before we even have a say in the matter but as we get older and wiser Sometimes, I think Malcolm said it, sometimes you have to separate. <laughs> you may have to go find yourself another network to hang with. Now, I'm not saying that to say I'm not a person that believes in giving up on people. Because you can't just cast people aside just because they were born into a bad network or they were cast into a bad network. So on this season of giving, what I'm going to ask us to do, maybe since we know the importance of this network perhaps we can help somebody else not cast them aside maybe we can dr drag them along into our network one day take them to one of those meetings take them to one of those groups maybe send them a link say look you want to check this out this is right up your alley and don't make it look like you're trying to do them any kind of favor or that you're feeling sorry for them you sending them to a group where they may add to the discourse to the conversation because one thing about networking and network that we have discovered and i've talked about this in the class and why we're going to talk about networking later on the spirit of reciprocity you give and you gain you gain and you give so in this spirit of giving in this season we're going to talk about our net work we're going to do our networking and we're going to see an acceleration a growth of our net worth if anybody was talking network that other that's actually a, a technical term for net worth and that's generally take your assets and subtract it from your liabilities and that determines your net worth and if you ever tried to buy a house or a franchise <laughs> or any type of major financial transaction you would understand the value of having a good net worth for instance if you're trying to buy a franchise you just can't just because you hit the lottery yesterday you got a million dollars you say look let me run down here and buy me a, a chick-fil-a <laughs> well not quite because one of the parts of that formula includes having a net worth of about a quarter of a million dollars in some places it's as high as a half a million dollars you have to have a positive net worth so that just dramatizes the point it, it it accentuates the necessity of building a positive network which explains why later in the show